Hi parents, teachers. It's Miss Carol with an idea for spending some time in the Word with your children this week. It's sort of a, a new mini little series that we're starting in the curriculum. Uh, there will be a noun and a verb that both start with the same letter. And this one is a servant speaks. And the servant that we're talking about is Stephen. You may find that your children aren't familiar with the story of Stephen because I'm not sure we really do it a whole lot in Sunday school. So that's good. Uh, the objective is on the front page of the teacher's guide, which is downloaded below for you to have as a teacher. And the objective is that we want the children to know that it's because of the Holy Spirit. We had that lesson last Sunday about how the disciples received the gift of the Holy Spirit. And it's because of the Holy Spirit that we are enabled to do things to help other people and to take care of them and to forgive them. Because that's what Stephen does in our story today. That same Holy Spirit that enables Stephen enables us to do kind things and forgive our neighbors as well. Uh, for a launch activity, you might talk about being a helper. Have you been a helper this week? What did you do to help somebody? Or did somebody help you this week? Who helped you when you were hungry? And talk about helpers. And well, there's somebody in our story that is a helper this week, and his name is Stephen. And the Bible narratives are here again. And this week, there's certain little spots in the story where the narrative is printed a little bit darker in bold print, both in the up younger grades narrative and the older grades narrative. And those are just the key points in the story that you might want to make sure that you hit as you're telling the story. And one thing they suggest to do is to let the children draw emojis, those little faces that we use on the computer all the time that show emotions and let your children make up their own emojis. So we folded paper before, you might fold a piece of paper a third over and a third over this way, fold it down in half, and that should give you six boxes to draw emojis in. And then you tell the story from the narrative and stop at those darkened spots and say, okay, what were the people doing? What were the people feeling like in the story right here? And this, is just an example of what you might come up with. I'm sure yours will be much better. But let the kids draw these as you tell the story. And it just, the church, after Jesus died and rose again, and the apostles received the Holy Spirit, the church was growing and growing and growing and growing, and more and more people were coming to the disciples to learn about Jesus, but also because the church was helping them and caring for them. So stop at that point, have your children and draw in the first box. Okay, what could be an emoji that we would draw for that? Well, that was mine. Well, then there were so many people that the disciples couldn't help them all. And some people were not getting fed and not getting the help that they needed. That made them feel sad. Have your kids. What were the people feeling in that part of the story? So the apostles said, well, we have to solve this problem. So what we'll do, we will continue to preach and teach, but we'll choose some deacons to be in charge of the helping ministry, to be in charge of helping people who need help because the church wanted to help others. And so the disciples thought, who would be good for that job? And they thought of Stephen and they said, oh yes, Stephen is always praying to God. And Stephen would be a good person to handle that. So this is my version of Stephen with praying hands. And they chose Stephen to be one of the deacons. And Stephen enjoyed handing out things to people and helping other people. And while he did that, he also told them about Jesus and what Jesus had done for them. And some people didn't believe in God, and they didn't like Stephen doing that. They wanted him to quit talking about Jesus all the time. And so they got very angry when he tried to tell them that Jesus loved them too, and they needed to know Jesus as their Savior. 
made them very angry. And so they took Stephen outside the city and began to throw stones at him and eventually killed him with the stones. But God didn't leave Stephen. God was continued to be with Stephen and Stephen saw a vision of him uh, in heaven ready to accept Stephen into heaven. And then while Stephen was dying, then you go back to the first picture again, he prayed again for his enemies, for the people that were killing him, and said, Father, forgive them. I want them to know that you love them, and I want them to accept you as their Savior. So Stephen prayed for the, the people even as they were killing him. So then you might take this page after you've told the story and the children have drawn their emojis and take them and cut the squares apart. And then here's where Nana, our grandma comes in again. They could tell the story and you could mix up all the pictures and have them choose, well, which picture was the first one in the story? Well, ah, this one. Grandma, you know what this story is all about that we had in Sunday school today? Well, I'll tell you. At first, there were more and more people coming to the church, and so there were so many people that not everybody could get fed. And so the disciples decided to pick some deacons, and one person they picked was Stephen. And Stephen enjoyed helping others, so on. And they can tell the story to Nana or Grandma. That's one way to tell the story that would involve the children and help the children that like to do something to help them understand the story. Then there are discussion questions, and you can talk about the story with your children. And then we come to the live page. And the live page has lots of ideas for, uh, there's a snack one to hit the sense of taste. There's a visual one with drawing a, a, a portrait of Stephen. There's one that they suggest that I think might be fun that the kids would probably enjoy, and that's using puppets. And so whatever puppets you have at your house, and my puppets have fallen on the floor, sorry and have the puppets fight over some kind of story that you make up. And the puppets are running through the house and they run into the, you made me drop my book. I did not, you're just clumsy, you're always clumsy. No, you ran into me. No, I did not, you're clumsy. They would love that. The kids would love fighting over some kind of situation that you make up, but then plan ahead for the children to be the expert and come in with the advice for the puppets. Listen, guys, that is never going to solve the problem for you to fight like that. What you need to do is forgive each other. We had a lesson in our story today, and the Holy Spirit helped Stephen, be kind to the people in the story. The Holy Spirit helped Stephen do nice things. And the Holy Spirit will help you and you too. So you need to apologize and say you're sorry for hitting him. And you need to apologize and say you're sorry that you made him drop his book. I'm sorry I made you drop your book. I'm sorry that I got angry and I hit you. And then they can hug and make up whatever kind of story. But let your child be the one that's the expert and tells the story to the puppets and tells them that the Holy Spirit can help them to forgive others when they are angry or feel like they've been wronged. And remember that the Holy Spirit also helped Stephen pray for his enemies, even as they were stoning him. 
So we want to remind the children that the Holy Spirit was a gift from God for the disciples and for us as well. And it came because God loved them, the disciples, so much. And God loves us so much that he wants us to be able to live a life that is good for us. And he loves us so much that he will never quit. Never quit loving us, no matter what. Because nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing can take that love away. So have a good week in the Lord with your children and enjoy sharing the servant story about Stephen. Bye-bye.